Here we are for the next race of the season, the KFC 200 here at Kentucky Motor Speedway. It's going to be one fun race here this afternoon. Let's take a look at our 33 car field before we get rolling. On pole, you have the 02 Florida Mile Tour outside the 2 of Luke Rainey. In third, you have Jonathan Raines. Fourth is John Gammon. Running out the top five, we got Ryan Brommer. Then sixth, we have Timothy Heath. Seventh is Cole Luigi. Eighth is Cortez Newman. Oscar Isaac in ninth, running out the top ten, got Jason Larker. The rest of the field outside the top ten goes Michael Canto, and then second in points, Alexander Rowe. Jose Fernandez and then DJ Reed, Julius Anderson and your points leader JJ Reed, he has a over a hundred point lead. Then you got Evan Hunter and Tim Randolph, Trey Rainey and Ethan Lynn, Steve Larker and Jonathan Beeford, Colton Yo and Carter Friesen, Greg Lee and Steve Morgan, Danny Bright and Cynthia Bright, Isaac Nichols and Max Anderson, Alexander Korsh and Derek Hamill, and rang up the field, you got Jake West in the five on the last row in 33rd. Let's now go down to track set for the command. Thirty-three cars rolling off here this afternoon at Kentucky for twenty-one laps around this one point five mile oval. Track position very big here. The outside lane also very big. So we'll see how the start of the race goes. Can Lord Lyle get clear of Luke Rain and get up to the outside? We're about to find out as the pace car in the pit road. The O2 car to the inside of the two car. As they come down the front area, take the green flag. Here they come to the restart zone. Lord Lyle steps on the gas. We're a green flag racing in the KFC two hundred at Kentucky. Already three and four wide as they come down the back straightaway. Laura Delano trying to keep Jonathan Reigns behind her as they come off of turn number four for the first time here today. Oh, big crash! Julius Harrison to the wall hard with Evan Hunter and the rest of the field. Laura Delano back to the stripe and a big crash already lap one. That's how Kentucky is off turn number four. They get Ansi, Trey Rainey, Evan Hunter, Greg Lee, Julius Harrison. Steve Larker involved as lap number one, caution number one. Let's see what happened. Look at that. Four, maybe even five wide right there with Jonathan Buford, Trey Rainey. And they're going to clip each other up into Julius Anderson who has nowhere to go. Anderson hits hard. The 45 and the 6'6 also hit hard. Evan Hunter, Steve Larker has nowhere to go. Alexander Cornish drives away. Carter Friesen possibly got some damage right there. The six car drives through the middle, but he gets some damage as well. That was a pretty hard hit for a lot of those drivers, especially the 45 and the 66 and then the 3 car. Innocent bystander, just nowhere uh, that he could escape to. And that's going to take out at least 4 or 5 good race cars right here, especially Evan Hunter, Steve Larker, uh, Trey Rainey, and of course, Jonathan Buford. So Lord and Lyle led the field back to the stripe. They, of course, are going to stay out, and the 0-2 car will lead back to the green flag here early on in this race. Entering three and four for the restart here in lap number six. The four cars retired are Jonathan Buford, Steve Larker, Trey Rainey, and Julius Anderson. We're going to have 29 cars left in the race. Out front, you have Lord Island in the 02, Luke Rainey in second. Third is John Gamet, fourth, Jonathan Reigns. Fifth is Ryan Brommer. Then sixth, you have Jason Larker, Cole Luigi in seventh, Alexander Rowe in eighth, Oscar Isaac ninth, and Tim Deeth rounds out the top ten. So let's see if we can get a green flag lap in as they come down the front straightaway. Green flag is back out. We're back racing. And Luke Rain did not get a good restart there, and that's the one time you need to get a good, a good uh, jump right there. Is a restart. That's the time he can make up ground on the inside lane. And Luke Rain not being able to do that, he might lose a position right here to John Gamut. Got a great run as they will come off of turn number two. And John Gamut with such a big run, he's gonna get to the inside. Lord Delon down the back straightaway. Big push from the 28 of Jonathan Rains right there. Three wide now. Gambit put to the middle. Lord Alon all the way up top. Reigns tight in the middle. Or down low, excuse me. Luke Rainey also powers through to the middle. John Gambit leads. Lord Alon stuck up top. Luke Rainey has gotten clear to third. Now Rainey trying to clear Lord Delano for second. Couldn't quite get down Delano with a run off the top. A big push off of the corner. Now look into the inside down the back straightaway. They're side by side once again. Delano wants that race lead back. John, John Gambit's not going to give it up. Gambit gets it wound up on the top side. Trying to get clear. He does. Lord Donald's got to sell for second. 
Jason Larker is up to third. Where'd that 25 car come from? Oscar Isaac going for fourth now. 44 is charging. Here comes Luke Ray back for the second position. Or for the third position. And now Jason Lark Larker and Oscar Isaac going to battle side by side for fourth. And they have Cole Luigi and Jonathan Reigns in a battle back behind them. Isaac tight up the track. Jason Larker with a great runoff. He's going to clear for fourth. Oscar Isaac now has to hold off Cole Luigi, Jonathan Reigns, and some others for the fifth position. I believe he's going to be able to do it as they hit turn one. Bell for second. Luke Ray tried to get to the inside of the line. Didn't have anything there. Got really tight. Here comes Jason Larker in the 25s. They hit the back straight away. And he got really tight underneath that 02 car, and he might lose position right here. Larker got such a great run and ring turn three. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold it, though. Yeah, the people who are going to be able to make pass are the ones that can commit to the throttle on the bottom lane. We have not really seen anyone be able to do that after a restart. So here comes Cole Luigi for the fifth position. Can he do it down the bottom lane? There you have to slide up and try and take that lane away from the guy on the top, and that's not going to happen. Cole Luigi is actually going to lose his spot. So he tried to pass the 44. He's going to end up falling from sixth to about seventh here. And Jose Fernandez might try and get a position right there. Your points there, J.J. Reed in the 35 is right now in the 20th position. There's some smoke, possibly an instant off of the corner last time by, but uh, we stay green. And Evan Hunter very slow in the 34. Luckily, uh, no one's really double foul. He should be able to just get out of the way if he stays really high or stays really low. As long as he doesn't hog the middle lane, everything should be fine once they catch him. Come to 10 to go already. Evan Hunter all the way to the bottom of the track. John Gammon's going to go way up to the top side. Hunter comes up, almost cuts off one of your front three runners. And Hunter's going to fall back. Yeah, at least he lets the front seven, eight cars go on by. But on back, it's going to be just a little bit more treacherous because they're going to be side by side racing. Heath. Yeah, some of these guys are getting really close to that 34 car. Brains is going to get stuck behind. He might go to the bottom lane. So look back up. Luke Rainey again going for second underneath. The 0 02 car. Again, can't make it stick. He has to get up in line. And Jason Larker with a big run down the front straightaway. Larker might be able to clear him into turn one. He got a big push from Oscar Isaac there. Jason Larker is through to third. Luke Rain trying to keep the fourth position. Oscar Isaac tight. He's to the middle lane. As Cortez Newman looks all the way to the bomb. Isaac's going to keep that position. Here comes Cole Luigi now to the outside of Cortez Newman. Luke Green once again tight down low. Tried to get by Jason Larker. Larker's going to keep third. Here comes Cole Luigi to the inside of Oscar Isaac now for fifth. Some great racing inside of the top five. But your race leader, John Gamut, and Lord Allen second are not being challenged right now. So here comes Jose Fernandez for the sixth position. To the outside he will go. He'll get right on by Cole Luigi and possibly Cortez Newman might as well as Koluji could fall all the way back to the 8th position right here. And that just shows how the bottom lane just not the place to be here at Kentucky. Very hard to make passes here once we get going. It's going to take restarts in some of these races to actually have a shot to make up ground. Look at Lord Donald there in the 0-2. Trying to get to John Gamut and past him. But how do you make the move around the 69? You have to try in a higher lane maybe. Try and get around in a higher groove. Come to 6 laps to go this time. Jason Larker with a pretty good runoff of turn number four there. He might look to the inside of the O2 car. Is that going to allow Luke Rain to get to third? Larker to the inside. Luke Rain also goes to the inside. Rainey might go all the way to the bottom lane. He does. Well, if I were Rainey, I would have gone with Lord Delano and gotten that third position. Definitely now he's going to have to hope that his car can make it stick down low. If it doesn't, he's going to lose that fourth, maybe even fifth position. Although Jose Fernandez does go to the bottom lane. Rainey once again tight. Oscar Isaac's going to get around him. Rainey sells into fifth. Oscar Isaac up to fourth. There's now just five to go. Lord Delano is pressuring John Gambit, hoping Gambit can make a mistake. Luke Rainey and Jose Fernandez in a side by side battle right there. That's for the fifth position. Rainey's the one up top, so he's possibly going to be able to keep that position. Here comes Oscar Isaac. Dive bombs the 25 car. Still can't get it done. Isaac loses a lot of ground there. The front three are able to pull away. And now Isaac's going to be bound with Luke Rainey in the two car. As they hit four laps to go, coming to three this time by. Bell back here, Jose Fernandez. 
Coluigi and Cortez Newman battling for 6th, 7th, and 8th, and then ninth on back in a uh, big group. JJ Reed, your points there is up to, I believe, the 14th position. Alexander Rowe, who was 2nd in points, is battling behind him about, I would say, 15th. Three to go for John Gambit, trying to bring it home with the victory. He has to hold off Lord Delano and Jason Lurker, who are going to be battling side by side behind him. However, that could hurt Gambit if Lord Delano does get up high and gets a big runoff turn or two, like she is right here. Look at the run. Luke Reynolds got a run on Oscar Isaac. He's going to look to the inside there. Jose Fernandez with a big run as well. Coming to two laps to go. As long as John Gambit doesn't have a fumble, he's going to win this race. Lord Delano has not been able to touch him ever since he got out front. Two to go. And a race that has flown on by here at Kentucky. Short race, only 200 miles. And uh, all four series going to be here. Tomorrow you're going to see the Penzo Truck Series, the KFC 250, the Target Series for the KFC 300, and then, of course, the Gary Cup Series for the KFC 400. So they come off turn number four. The white flag is shown for John Gamut. Can he bring it around one more time here at Kentucky? Lord Donald is going to be in a side-by-side -side battle with Jason Larker for the second position as the white flag is out. It's coming back no matter what. Larker really tight. Lord Donald keeps that second position. It's going to be a battle for third down the back straight away. Down the back stretch, Bell is inside the top five. The front two pull away, but John Gambit has the race lead. He hits three and four, no contest from behind off of turn number four. John Gambit's going to pick up a win here at Kentucky. The KFC 200 belongs to the 69 team. Gambit wins it, and Bell's on behind for a top five spot. John Gambit with the victory as he passes Lord Delano on the early restart and didn't look back as he wins, dominates here at the KFC 200. Let's now go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the KFC 200 at Kentucky. There was one caution flag for four laps and one lead change among two different drivers. John Gamet brings it home with the victory. He led 16 of the 21 laps after starting fourth. Lord Delano started on pole, led the first five laps, was passed on the restart. She ends up second. Jason Larker in third. Oscar Isaac fourth. And Luke Rainey runs out the top five. Jose Fernandez in sixth. Cole Luigi ends up seventh. Cortez Newman in eighth. Jonathan Reigns in ninth. And Timothy Heath rounds out the top ten. So there are top 20 here. Points there. J.J. Reed ends up 14th. A solid day for him after starting towards the back of the field in 15th. Also something interesting to note, Luke Rainey in all four series last season at Kentucky, I believe his worst finish was something around 6th or 7th. He finished top 5 in three of them and top 10 in all four. So once again, continuing that trend here at Kentucky, he finishes 5th. He's hoping to do that again tomorrow and the rest of the races. 28 cars finished on the lead lap. 29 finished running as four were... Uh, Eliminated because of that big, big crash. Now let's go look at the point standings. After 11 races, here are the point standings. JJ Reed still has the points lead. It's now 98 points on the Lord Delano, so she cut into it just a little bit. Who's now second? Jason Larker up to third. Alexander Rowe falls to fourth. And Isaac Nichols is fifth. Then you got Danny Bright in sixth. Jose Fernandez in seventh. Tim Randolph eighth. Ryan Brommer ninth. And Greg Lee rounds out the top 10. So there's your top 20 in the points. You see three of your winners right now in the top three in points. And they have been some of the most consistent. JJ Reed has the most top fives of anybody. He has five. And uh, tied, or actually, the most top tens belongs to Isaac Nichols, who has kind of come on as of late. He's been finishing top ten, but hasn't really been finishing top fives. He only has one top five. So JJ Reed showing that he is strong and a contender for this championship has looked down at the rest of the points fields. So these guys down here just hoping that they can gain positions like Steve Larker. Uh, Steve Morgan, John Gambit, Cynthia Bright, Jonathan Beeford, Oscar Isaac, all hoping that they can gain positions and points and get out of that bomb five, let's say. So the next race, it's going to be another wild one, the Speedco 200 at Iowa. See you guys then.